Hello everybody, Kelly Atchison at estampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. So, I have to tell you guys, the weather is better here, but it's still really cold. We got a whole bunch more snow. There is a huge layer of ice in our driveway. I'll tell you, it's treacherous out there for sure. I'm going to bring in my laptop here. Hi, Nanette. Welcome. So I can find me and see your comments better. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Kelly. And here we go. Hi, Mary Ellen from Montana. Mary Olson, welcome. Make sure you leave a comment, say hello, tell me where you're coming from. Hi, Heather, welcome. And here I am, and now I can pop this up so I can see your comments. Hi, Marsha. Hi, Cindy. Make sure that you um, leave a comment. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. This is not the way our night's gonna go. <laughs> Make sure you leave a comment to let me know where you're coming from or just to say hello. Um, that gets you entered in a drawing to win free stuff. And I have some beautiful cards to show you, so I think I'm going to do that first. The other thing I want to tell you, too, is on this Facebook Live, if I happen to miss your question, please ask it again. Um, it's it's If you've never done a Facebook Live, it's hard to watch the comments, do the stamping, make sure the computer is working right, and there's just so many different things going on. So if you ask a question and I don't answer it, I'm not ignoring you. I just missed it. It scrolls on my screen pretty fast when the questions come in. So hi, Betty. Hi, Lynn. Kay, glad you guys are joining us. Lisa from Chili De Pere. Yeah, we're in Chili Menasha too, and it's only going to get worse. Hi, Amy. Mary, welcome. So I thought the first thing I would do as everybody's getting on is to share the cards that I got this week in the mail. And um, this is kind of cute. So this one's from my mom. And isn't that pretty? Um, yeah, it's pretty because I made it. <laughs> I give my mom boxes of cards for various gifts. And usually at Christmas time, I'll give her a box. You can take 70 cards and envelopes and fit them in a photo box. And so that's usually a gift that I give to her. So my mom sent me this card this week because um, we are headed to Arizona on Tuesday and we're taking my mom with us. And she said, you two took my breath away. How very kind of you. Thank you, love mom. And then of course the greeting down here says, you made my day. And um, it was my pleasure, mother, if you're watching and uh, can't wait to vacation with you. So we're going to head back to Phoenix to see my cousins. Um, we're taking my mom along. And we get to stay at my cousin's house because she's got this vacation rental home while her home is being um, remodeled. And uh, Steve, hello from the kitchen, Steve. Hi, Lisa Kashevsky. Um, so she had messaged me and said, you guys, this house sleeps 14. You should come back. And I messaged her back and I said, okay. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. So I'm pretty excited about that. I have another beautiful card here from Kay Allen, and this is a thank you card. Kay um, won a stamp set, and she's telling me that she's enjoying the wonderful romance online class, and she's almost finished with all the cards. She made two each, and this is Kay's beautiful card that she sent me. So thank you, Kay. This is gorgeous. I love, love, love this paper. I've got a video coming up. Um, I made some cards with this particular paper. This is the Abstract Impressions, I believe it's called, or Garden Impressions, I can't remember, but it's our 6x6 Designer Series paper. And then this card is coming, if I can get it open here, this card is coming from my friend and team member, Cindy Ellers, and isn't that pretty? This uses a really, whoops, a really cool technique here. I'll be sharing with you in the future because... Um, Cindy shared it with me and I know that it's probably going to be my next technique class. So that's pretty fun. Um, it says, thank you, Kelly, for the card kit. Oh, Cindy won a card kit. I had a big giveaway on my team page. Um, I challenged my team members to do a Facebook Live and introduce themselves on our private team page. And Cindy was one that won a prize. So I sent her a card kit. 
And she says it's always so nice to win something. So that's cool. And Cindy, I am going to be using your card idea, your technique here, because um, it's pretty cool. <laughs> okay. And then I received this beautiful little jewel from my good customer, Sharon Jones. And Sharon says, thanks so very much for sending me that gorgeous thank you card. So she's sending me a thank you card for her thank you card. And isn't this just pretty? I love it. So thank you guys so much for the cards this week. It really brightens my day when I open the mail and um, get cards in there. And I have to tell you, the mail used to be really kind of depressing for me because I had a lot of bills coming in and ugh, it was hateful. And um, now I don't have hardly any bills coming in because through my job with Stampin' Up! as a Stampin' Up! independent demonstrator, I was able to pay off all my debt. All of my debt. So I don't have those bills coming in anymore. And um, I get a bill for the electricity and water and the cell phone and the cable TV. But um, I love getting the cards in the mail now because now it's an enjoyable experience going to that mailbox. I want to do our winners from last week. So you guys know that I always give away three items every week. And um, the first one is for commenting. So make sure you comment if you're watching me. And I have some floral romance seals. These are a really hot item from our Occasions mini catalog. They go along with the wonderful romance uh, bundle. And I do have an online class for that. If anybody's interested in looking into the details for that online class, you can go to my blog, www.estampabove.com, and scroll down the right-hand column. You're going to see online classes. When you click that, it's going to take you to all my online classes. I've been getting a lot of feedback on this class. People are just loving it. The winner of these romance seals is Vicki Zwiebel of Defiance, Ohio. So, Vicki, if you're watching tonight, congratulations. I will be popping these in the mail tomorrow. And then um, for sharing my video, click that share button because you know sharing is caring. <laughs> click on that share button. That really helps me out. For sharing my video from last week, I have the dot-to-dot -dot embossing folder. This is a super fun little embossing folder, and it reminds me of alligator skin. So I was using it with the little alligator from the uh, Hey You or Hey Love um, stamp set for Valentine cards. But there's a whole bunch of other things you can use it for. Joanne Porter of um, Marysville, Washington is the winner of the embossing folder for sharing my video. So Joanne, if you are watching, thank you so much and congratulations. And then I give away a stamp set usually for... Um, people who have ordered. So the people who are placing orders also go into a drawing. And this is the nine live stamp set. It goes with, let me find our cat punch. It goes with the cat punch. Super, super fun and cute cards you can make with that. The winner of that is Betty Thorne of Greenville, Wisconsin. So Betty, if you're watching tonight, congratulations. I will be putting this in with your order um, when it comes in. So there we have our winners. Now you have three ways to win. Comment, share, place an order. And I will be doing drawings, um, not next Sunday, but whoops, sorry. I just really knocked my desk with my knee and I'm okay in case anybody cares. <laughs> I know you guys all care. Um, hang on. I just had something fall over here. Um, I won't be live next Sunday, you guys, but I have already pre-recorded my famous little Facebook Live Not Live for you, and I have some really cool ideas and projects to share with you next Sunday. Even though I won't be here, you will find my live. It's going to be a YouTube video that will post right here where you're at on my Facebook page at 7 p.m. Central Time. So I was happy to get that done right away because, you know, leaving town, I've got so many things to um, get accomplished. All right, I had a few more things I wanted to share with you. Um, did you guys see this month's paper pumpkin kit? It's called Grown With Kindness, and well, it was the February kit. Beautiful, beautiful succulents. This is one of my alternate ideas where I cut it into panels. This was an idea from Stampin' Up. This is another alternate idea. Now, I provide at least 15 alternate ideas using the current month's paper pumpkin kit 
to all my Paper Pumpkin subscribers. So if you're not a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, um, I highly recommend that you subscribe because these are so fun. This is um, one of our pizza boxes and it is good and safe for food and I think this will be perfect to put a really nice cookie in and give to a friend. And then the front says, you're the reason I smiled today. Who doesn't want that little gift? And I can give them this card to go with it. You are wonderful and you're the reason I smiled today. So if you would like to see some more information on Paper Pumpkin, um, again, you can go to my blog and look in that right-hand column. You're going to find all kinds of things in the right-hand column. All the catalogs are there to look at online. My online classes, there's an online ordering button. You can subscribe to my blog by adding your email address. Um, the $99 kit button is on there, and as long as I'm there, we had a team meeting this morning, and it was fantastic. And with my team meetings, I do a local meeting here um, in Nina, Wisconsin, and then I also broadcast, just like I'm doing right now, live on our Facebook private team group page so that everybody, no matter where you're located in the United States, can attend the meeting. And when they do attend the meeting live, they get entered in um, door prizes to win. Um, they get entered in a drawing to win door prizes if they watch live. And somebody just said, is that a pad? And I'm not sure what you're talking about. So if you could clarify that for me. Um, somebody also asked, how is my weight loss going? Well... I am down um, 11 pounds as of today. Tomorrow is my weigh-in. I have been, oh yeah, Tanya just said um, these pizza boxes are an item. We had some items added to the celebration list. So you can get, I think you get two packs of these um, with your $50 order for free. So these are super, super cute. You can put anything in here. They're great for earrings. If anybody um, buys me a new car, Steve Atchison, um, you can put some keys in here and give it to me as a gift. I would love that. <laughs> um, oh, I've got a spammer on here. That's great. Thank you, Pat. She just said, I don't think you want that person to respond. His comments have not been kind. That's wonderful. Um, so if you are watching my Facebook Live and you're leaving nasty comments, get off. That's what I have to say to you. Um, thank you, Noreen, on the weight loss. I'm super excited about that. I am really, really um, happy. Hang on just a second. I'm going to see. Can you tell me what the name is of the person that's leaving? Okay, that's great. So we are going to. I cannot get rid of this person. Um, but I can delete his comments. And I think when we're done, I might be able to block him off of my page. Hi, Jody. So, um, oh, please report him. If somebody can report that guy right now, um, that's great. Because we don't need any of that nonsense here. Okay, you guys. Somebody is posting nasty comments here. And just ignore him. We're not going to let him get us down. Bill, you need to leave. Thank you, Kelly. Appreciate it. Thank you, Joe. Um, yeah, so I'm really dedicated to this weight loss program, and my coach has been fabulous. Every Monday morning, I do a Zoom video call with her and ask a bunch of questions, and she gives me a bunch of tips, and um, I figured out how to make these. We have I have these little packs of brownie mix that you mix with water and cook in the microwave, and while they're okay, um, there are some hacks you can do that don't add calories to them, and I made them with the hacks, and they are amazing. I absolutely love them. So it's like you're eating dessert several times a day, which is really cool when you're on a weight loss program, right? So um, Paul is asking, how am I doing cutting back on my soda? I have not had a single drop of soda since I quit drinking it um, almost three weeks ago. So I do have these little flavored drink things that come with this um, program, and it's the Optavia program. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's kind of a strawberry lemonade, real weak combination. And that's what I'm drinking tonight. And I think it has caffeine in it too, because I was up till four in the morning last night, or this morning. And when I went to bed, I'm like, I have to get to bed. And I was just buzzing. But um, don't worry, because I sleep in late. I'm getting plenty of sleep. So, okay. What are you guys drinking tonight? 
I um, have something happier than water that sucks the joy out of my life. So I'm pretty thrilled about that. Okay. Um, remember, share my video, whether you're watching now on Facebook Live, whether you watch later on Facebook Live, or whether you are watching on YouTube. I appreciate all the shares. They really help me out. I'm excited to tell you that I have a new online class coming out this month. Um, it's with the Geared Up Garage Bundle, and can I just say that the cards are so, so cool. Um, that will be released on March 15th, which is a Friday, so I hope um, you guys will all like this. I always introduce my online classes with a video and another card that I've made that I share with everybody. My online class is $20 or free with an order of a bundle of products. So if you order the products from me, you get the $20 class for free. The other thing that's really cool is if you join my team as a discount shopper or a business builder, all my $20 or less classes are free to you as a team member. Hi Rhonda, Rhonda's on my team. Um, so you can get my online classes for free. And so is Christina. Crystal Light with the splash of vodka is what Christina's drinking, good for you. <laughs> Thanks, you guys, on the weight loss thing. I think really telling you guys um, every week how it's going and what I'm doing is holding me accountable. And um, I think that's huge because I don't want to come in here on here in front of all of you guys. I've got 300 people watching me right now and go, yeah, I didn't lose any weight this week. I failed. And um, that wouldn't make me feel too good. So I think you guys are really holding me accountable so that I can report good numbers to you every week, which is helping me stay on track. Today I had um, pizza with a cauliflower crust and we found these at Costco and they are amazing. Bonnie Leffel, I need you to friend me on Facebook, please. Um, I've been trying to get Bonnie to friend me. She just joined my team as a discount shopper this week. I need you to friend me so that I can um, add you to our team Facebook group. Okay, um, what else is happening? I also have my um, online club. That's once a month you place a $25 order or more and you will get a card and an instruction card with the technique on it and the card made with the technique. And if you do that six months in a row, you get a $30 product credit from me. This is my online club. No matter where you are in the United States, you can be in my online club. It doesn't matter if you're a demonstrator with somebody else. Um, you can still be in my online club. Or I'm, I should say, if you're a demonstrator, you can still be in my online club. You can still buy the discount shopper kit from me and be in my online club. The thing is you have to use my host code when you place an order through me to be a part of this online club. And I had several new people that um, joined. So this last week, a, a bunch of new people joined the online club. So that's really exciting. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget I have gift certificates in any de denomination available all year long. And um, da -da 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 -da, orders going in every Thursday. So if you have... Um, an order and you don't like to order online, you can call me or you can email me or you can text me or you can private message me on Facebook and I will help you with your order. I have several people that I do that for, so don't hesitate. Remember, if you're on my team, that um, this page is not a place for demonstrator, demonstrator chit chat. And I know I've mentioned that before, but sometimes it gets confusing as to where you should be posting questions about things. Um, that's for our team page. And I think that's all I've got. Um, oh, one other thing. When you order the Painted Seasons bundle from me, that is free with your $100 order, I have a 15-card tutorial that I will send you as a gift. So um, if, you, if you've ordered that from me and have not received that tutorial yet, please pop me an email and let me know because I, I went back in my history to see who all had ordered it from me because we just got this tutorial done. And I sent those out, um, I think, Friday. So, okay. And um, over and above the Painted Seasons Bundle tutorial, anytime you place an order with me, I have 12 card tutorials that I email you as a um, gift. So, 
Um, we're going to leave that guy named Bill alone now because we're bored with him and his um, silly behavior. So just ignore, just ignore. Okay. Um, you guys know that this promotion went live on Friday, March 1st. So we've got all of these. Oops, I took the wrong one away. <laughs> we've got this new stamp set, these new framelits, and this new punch that is happening right now. Thanks, Sharon, for reporting him. I appreciate it. I am going to start stamping. Let me find, oh, I promised you guys another card with the bunny. Let me grab the other bunny card. Oh, it's right here. Thank goodness it didn't get too far away from me. And we are going to do the bunny card first because it's stinking adorable. And then I have to tell you something really funny. So I messaged my good friend, Kathy Miller. We do um, card buffets together. And I messaged her and told her that I could not find my subtle embossing folder. Oh, Elaine, um, this promotion is till the end of March. So all of these, whoops, will be available until the end of March. That's what's listed on here. March 1st through the 31st. That's a great question. Kelly, do you know when the Celebration Organy Ribbon is coming back? Yes, tomorrow. That is the date that Stampin' Up! has given us that that ribbon will be in stock um, or in the warehouse. Now, things could change depending on if it got hung up at the um, port coming into the United States. Um, but here's the deal with that ribbon. I don't know the numbers. So let's just say 2,000 of them are on back order and Stampin' Up! has ordered 2,500. So those 2,000 will go out to the people that are on back order and there's only going to be like 500 left, which isn't a lot when you're talking about the whole country, right? So if you would like to get that organdy ribbon, um, it's free with your $50 order. And for those of you that may not know what we're talking about, um, there's five different colors. I don't know where all my, I used some of mine. So there's some multiples in here. But this is the organdy ribbon. It's absolutely beautiful. You get five different colors. I think orange is the one that I'm missing. And um, it's free with your $50 order. Stampin' Up! told us that that particular ribbon has probably gone down as the most, most popular celebration item ever. And that's why they ran out of it so quick. So you want the ribbon? First thing in the morning, you need to place an order, and I can't guarantee anything. So, yeah, Cindy, we can get the Painted Seasons Designer Series paper with a $50 order separate from the stamp set. So, if you already have the Painted Seasons stamp set and ribbon or um, paper together for that $100 order you placed last month, you can now get more packs of that paper with your $50 order. So, that's really cool. And we did not know that was coming, so I just want to clarify um, sometimes it's a, it can be a little frustrating because we don't know about promotions that are coming ahead of time. And so we were telling everybody the only way you could get the paper was with the stamp set in your $100 order. And then Stamp It Up came out with adding the paper as um, an extra item. So we didn't know. So if you're thinking that we're lying to you, please, we're not lying to you. Um, yeah. Okay. I think I'm ready to flip. Oh, you know what? Where's my bunny builder punch? I need that. Here it is. Okay, hang on. I'm ready to flip and show you this other bunny card that I made because it is stinking adorable. And, oh yeah, a lot of people miss that metallic paper. So, yeah, and the ribbon matches the new Gingham Gala Designer Series paper, which is super cute. Will the Painted Season stamp set be for sale? No, it will not. The only way you can get that is with your $100 order. You get the stamp set and the paper. And that's a really good question, Benita. Hi, Francie Freeberg. Okay. I'm going to flip you guys around now. So if you get motion sickness, please close your eyes. Here we go. I'm going to get everything set up and get my phone plugged in. Hope I don't touch anything to turn you off. I've got to turn around my mirroring. Hang with me for just a second. I'm going to turn that off. And I think we look pretty good. Whoops, I almost tipped over my drink. That would have not been cool. We're almost ready. Hang tight. I got to plug this phone in. There we go. Okay. I think we are good to go. You can open your eyes, everybody. <laughs> 
All right. I have two embossing folders. I am using the basket weave embossing folder and also Kathy Miller, here's my subtle folder. It was in the basket with my bunny card. I, I told her earlier this week, I'm like, you don't happen to have two of these because I knew I used it at the card buffet and I was just gonna show you a card that I used it for but now I don't see it here. Um, anyways. Couldn't find it any place. I searched everywhere, and I still haven't cleaned my office out. So <laughs> um, I was like, oh, I don't know what happened to it. So I actually have another one on my order. I think I already ordered another one. So I'll be giving that away as a door prize. <laughs> Yay, you guys. Um, let's see. I'm just reading comments here. Yeah, um, Tanya says, Somebody needs to tell Stampin' Up! Gods that we need metallic papers in all the colors. And I agree with you, Tanya. And you know what? You can email Stampin' Up! and tell them, all of you guys, email Stampin' Up! and tell them that um, they need to add more colored foil paper. And they do read all of those emails, and they will listen to you. And somebody else just asked if... Um, Let's see, I ordered two packs. Pizza boxes are added to celebration, yes. Terry, on this page that you're on right now, when you're done watching me, if you scroll down, I did put links to all the new items that were added to celebration as of, I think, Friday. So there's some new items. There's the sequins embossing folder, the pizza boxes, um, a couple rolls of ribbon. Um, there was a whole bunch of little goodies that are in our annual catalog as well as the Painted Seasons Designer Series paper. So that's all there, you'll find it. Okay, did I ever find the rectangular framelit? No, I have not. And I did order a new set of rectangles, isn't that sad? I hope I find it now and then I'll give that away as a door prize too. <laughs> but um, no, I didn't find it. Okay, we're gonna get our card out here. And my little cheat sheet that I have all my measurements on. I like to put that up there. Here comes our layers. So we've got this, and this, this and this, this and this. Hang on, I got a couple more things here that need to come out. Okay, oh, and this. All right, let me set these aside for a second. I'm gonna bring in my paper piercing mat. This is just a piercing mat that I use to stamp on and I cover it with printer paper. Oh, and I need to put my ribbon here so I don't get off the camera. Hang on, you guys, because, oh, I think I threw it on the floor. I have this just piece of ribbon that I put tape on and I put it in my frame so that I don't go too low because then you guys can't see what I'm doing and I've done that many times and it's very frustrating for all of us. Thanks Ellen, thanks Beth and Joyce for the share. Don't forget to share you guys, that really helps me out. So first of all, we have um, crumb cake cardstock and this is four and a quarter by 11 and I've already scored it here at five and a half. So I'm just going to fold it in half and burnish that edge good. Then I've got um, soft sea foam, and this is two and three quarters by four and a quarter. I've got a piece of whisper white for the inside of our card that's four by five and a quarter, and also a piece of crumb cake the same size. Now, you guys can write all these measurements down, but um, I will be sharing these above the video. Once we're done tonight, I go back in and edit where it says Facebook Live 3319, I go in and put in all this information for you. So don't worry about the measurements. You'll also find all of this with still pictures on my blog on Tuesday, where I share the video again and pictures of the cards. Because I know sometimes, depending on your internet connection, you can't see very good um, the details of the cards because it's a little bit blurry. So um, don't worry about that. There'll be still pictures on my blog. Then I have a scrap of crumb cake and a scrap of whisper white. And what I'm going to do here is get out my crumb cake ink. And then, do I have a different? Um, I think I needed gray. Hang on while I find my, ooh, oh, here's some basic gray. I was gonna say, I pulled that out for the card buffet. We had a card buffet this weekend. Holy cow, we had so many people come, it was awesome. 
This is the um, best bunny stamp set. Where is that stamp set? I think I set it over here. Yep. Hang on. I got it. This is the best bunny stamp set. And it's super, super cute. You've got birthday in here. You made my day. Surprise. It's got like the magic bunny hat. All these cute little faces and little elements. But it also has this punch. And I made a really cute um, spinner card last week with this stamp set. Isn't that super cute? And it says just hopping by on the bottom and then Easter wishes. So this is going to be one of my Easter cards. And I think I'll send this to one of the kids because they will love this. Yep, it spins back and forth. Okay, I'm done playing with it. Who doesn't like to play with that? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, Elaine, soft sea foam is pretty. And Tony's asking, what is a card buffet? So a card buffet is... Um, a stamping event where we have a bullet or a display board with 16 different cards on it and each person comes and they get to choose which eight cards they want to make and um, it's $18 or free with your $25 order it's a lot of fun and we did have a full house Wendy's asking if I ever found my money bag I have not yet so I've been looking for it too so every time I go someplace different in my house I look for it and I can't figure out what's happened to it so who knows um, but I'm still looking for it and it's here because I took money out of it before I left I just don't know where we're gonna stamp that welcome little one with crumb cake ink on this white layer and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our basic gray and we're gonna stamp, whoops, we're gonna stamp, uh-oh, where's my bunnies? Hang on, you guys. Oh, here's all my bunny bits. I don't know why I have two different containers here. Somebody's gonna ask, what are these containers? These are our old wood stamp cases, so it had a lid that opened up, and I just cut the lids off, just so you know, because somebody always asks. And we need this. We're going to stamp our bunny head. I gotta make sure I'm doing this right. Nope, it needs to be like this. Oh, hang on. I'm gonna put it like this so I can. You wanna stamp it so you can get your punch in there, okay? And then we need our bunny body. And again, I'm using the um, basic gray ink pad. Sorry, I kind of lost my train of thought there. And then we need the little hands or feet or whatever you want to call them. And those are kind of a little different. I'm going to put those right here. What else do I have here? Oh, we have a bunny face. We're going to stamp that little bugger. And I'm going to stand up to do that so I can see what I'm doing here. Oh, isn't he so cute? And I think that's all that we need for this bunny. So I'm going to move this out of the way. We've got one more thing to stamp. So you see this stamp set here. This is banners for you. <laughs> Vicki says nice nails. Thank you so much. I really like these. And it matches my jacket. This is um, Berry Burst. So <laughs> yeah. Um, banners for you is the stamp set that I pulled out. So I'm going to take this banner. My original card um, uses the crumb cake. And we're going to stamp that on here, just like that. And what else do I have going on here? Hang on a second. Oh, I want the inside layer to also have my banner. Uh, oh, oops, I got a spot. Hang on. Let's hope for the best on this side now. I'm going to stamp that here, and then I'm going to do a congrats. That turned out pretty good. And then there's one more little bunny. Where did my gray ink pad go? Here it is. I forgot about this guy. We're going to stamp this little bunny right down here. Yay! Okay. Now, I see that I am going to need my Stampin' Black Markers. And... Oops, they're behind me here. I didn't realize I put them away. Did I really put them away? It's shocking if I did, I have to say. Yeah. Yep, they're not in the basket. Okay, so this is how I store my Stampin' Blend markers, for right now anyways. 
um, I was hoping Stampin' Up! was going to come out with some type of a storage system, but I just have them in this basket, and the basket lays down like this. Your markers should always be like this, not in a cup sitting up like this. That's not good for them. And I'm going to bring in crumb cake. And I need a little pink. So I think I'm gonna, I think this was my pink color that I used. Light flirty flamingo. Let's try that out here. I'm gonna just try it out here. Yeah, that'll be okay. And I've got um, a color, is this the color lifter? Yes, okay. So we've got just a tiny bit of coloring to do on our bunny. And I'm gonna take and make the ears pink because, you know, bunnies always have pink ears and a little pink nose and some little pink rosy cheeks. I hope you can see that. Oh, Diana's asking if I can zoom in. I cannot zoom in. Um, Facebook Live, I really have a hard time with that. It doesn't work well to zoom in. This was a regular video. I could zoom in, but I can't with Facebook Live. Um, then I'm going to... But I will hold the card up so you can see it. So just hang tight. And that was a really good question, by the way. I love how that pink is still there even after I've kind of colored over it with this marker. You can do this part first or second, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna leave the belly white, and isn't that just pretty? It's just a really cute little bunny in the bottom corner there. And we're gonna add this to the inside of our card base. I'm gonna be so ready for the babies that are gonna be coming here in the next little while. So that's awesome. Okay, then, whoops, did you see what I did? I left the lid off. Don't leave the lid off of your markers. You need, um, you need those lids on your markers. Then I'm going to take my light crumb cake and I'm going to color the bigger bunny. And I'm gonna do this before I cut it out. Now you can do it before or after, but here's the deal. Once you do it afterwards, it's kind of hard to hang on to these little pieces. So I like to do it when it's stamped right here and then pray for the best when you punch it out, right? <laughs> so you don't mess that up because you'd hate to go through the work of coloring this, and it really is easy to color, but then goof it up when you punch it out. So there's the little paw things. And then here comes our bunny. Somebody told me, or I should say, I was watching a video that if you make your markers squeak like that, you're pushing on them too hard. You shouldn't push that hard. And I'm having a really hard time getting used to not making them squeak because, I don't know, I kind of like the squeak noise. <laughs> Kind of weird. Oh yeah, if you're watching me on a phone, um, yeah, that's small. But you can always come back and watch this again on a different device. And I do upload this to YouTube so you can watch it on, well, you can watch it on your computer anyways, but I'll have it again on my blog from YouTube. Okay, I'm just gonna even this color out a little bit. And then make sure that always snaps when you put that lid on. I'm going to come in here and do my pink little ears. Now I thought that this is the light flirty flamingo by the way and um, it is too dark for me. That I don't want my ears to be like that bold bright pink and I've got to give them some cheeks. So what I did was I brought my color lifter in and I pulled up that color so it really made it pale. Can you see that? It's so much different looking after you pull some of that color off. And these color lifters, I don't know, they're amazing. There's no color on them. They're like magic. I don't understand how they work, but they're cool. All right, we are ready to punch some things out. We're ready to do some things here. We are going to punch out our bunny. So here comes our little bunny head. Make sure that you spread these out far enough so you're not um, punching over your images to get one of them out. You know what I mean? So there's our bunny. And here comes our bunny body. 
just trying to line this up good. There we go. And then we've got the little feet over here, or hands, or paws, or whatever you want to call them. I'm just going to cut that off so I can get at it. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Don't cut it all the way off. You need to be able to hold on to this. There. I just did that. So you need to be able to hold on to this while you put it in there. Oh, I did it upside down. Look at that. I need to come in this way. I wonder if I can get that accomplished. Yeah, so once you use this punch, well, maybe the third time, because I've used it several times now and I'm still kind of messing up, you'll get it. You'll get how this needs to be put on here. All right, let's hope. Here's our little feet. They're so cute, aren't they? And our little bunny head. And then we've got this welcome. We're going to take this to the big shot, and I've got the stitched ovals. Um, framelit and I'm going to die cut that and then this banners for you also comes with a set of framelits they're very cool banners you've got one two three four five different banners in here and I am going to well I shouldn't tell you I'm okay let me restate this this banners for you doesn't come with anything you can buy these two items. So you'll have the framelits and the banners for you. I don't want to mislead you on that. Um, then we're going to take this and we're going to cut this out. Whoops, turn it around, Kelly. There we go. It works better this way. <laughs> I better take a drink of my drink. Mm. Yeah. Um, we're going to die cut this and we're going to die cut this, okay? So hang tight. And... Through the magic of TV, I've already done that. Now, I am going to take a little piece of white here. So, gluing the bunny to the body is, a, you know, you don't have a lot of room to put any glue right here and get that head on there. So, what I do is take just a scrap of white, and I'm going to glue this on the back so it's kind of just like this. So let me do that. I'm going to put glue right here on this little strip. Whoops. I'm going to bring my bunny in. And I'm going to put it just like this. And then I'm going to bring my little bunny head in. And there's glue still on that little strip. I'm going to bring my bunny head in. And I'm going to secure it on that strip of cardstock. See how easy that was? So you've got just kind of like you built a little bridge there to pull them both together. Okay, then we need dimensionals because why wouldn't we need dimensionals? Of course we need dimensionals. We want this thing to have all kinds of dimension. It's going to be stinking adorable. We're going to put some dimension on here. And we're going to put some dimension on the banner. We are dimensional crazy. Okay, I'm going to get these ready to roll so when we get our card front put together, we can stick everything on there. Okay, all of these are ready to go. Let me move them out of the way. Ugh, hope they don't stick to anything. You guys watch these like a hawk in case they stick to something and I lose them. Then we need these little footy deals. Paws, whatever you want to call them. And I am just going to use some edges to do those. And I just want some really little, little bits. So I'm going to do that and that. And I'm going to put this right on my little paw. And this next one on my little paw. We won't take the backs off of those, but we're going to set them. See? See what I'm talking about there? Look at what I did. Stuff sticking all over. <laughs> okay, so that's fun. Let me clean up my mess here so I don't get my little bunny feet stuck in there. Okay. This piece. This piece and our crumb cake piece. This is the soft sea foam. We're going to run this through the Subtles embossing folder in the Big Shot. And then this piece, we're going to run through the Basket Weave embossing folder in the Big Shot. And... 
through the magic of TV. I have already done that. So this is the subtles. Can you see? Let me see if I can get my light to tilt on there. Can you see how subtle and beautiful? It makes your paper look like linen paper. It's very, very pretty. How about that? I hope you can see that. And then we've got this one. We're ready to put our card together. The only other thing I need to bring in here is some of my polka dot tool ribbon. And I'm gonna bring that in here and we're gonna tie a bow. So here we go. This is so pretty. You can color this ribbon any color you want it. So that makes it like extraordinary, right? I love it when you can do that to a ribbon. You can color it with reinkers. You can color it with markers. Um, you can, you know, dye it. You can dip it in your ink pad and push it down with a sponge or something. This is really, really pretty ribbon. Hang on, I'm trying to, uh, I blew that. Hang on just a second. I pulled it too tight, so let's try that again. There we go. I want to have a smaller bow. Oh my goodness, this shouldn't be that hard. There we go. This is going to work out better. I was telling you guys before that I had um, a cauliflower crust pizza, a vegetable pizza for my meal today, and it was really good. And I know that my coach is on here, Bev. I don't know if I can have that, but I read the back, and um, it seemed to kind of go along with the guidelines. I know it's not exactly lean, but it was one of those things where I really needed something satisfying to eat and that was what I chose and I thought I could have done a lot worse <laughs> okay here goes I'm doing tone on tone here with crumb cake and that basket weave and already this is pretty isn't it yeah okay so somebody's saying I use stamp and storage for the ink pad holders I have the old ink caddy that's what I keep mine in but when we go up to Minneapolis we're thinking about checking out the stamp and storage place and I might pick up some things from that. Um, this little piece right here, I told you, was two and three quarters by four and a quarter. And you're going to make a very shallow banner end on here. So I like to cut in the middle first and then come in from each side. And that seems to save me from a lot of chopping. Oh, that looks pretty good. Okay, no, that doesn't look good. Hang on. <laughs> I changed my mind. We can do that. We're girls. Girls get to change their mind. I want it to have just a little, little, little bit more angle. And that's what I wanted. Okay, so this piece is going to go right here. And then before I put that on, oh, here's my doily on the floor. I brought out one of our pearlized doilies, and we're going to cut that in half, just like that chop it in half. I'm going to put this on either side of my piece, but you have to kind of dry fit it here so you don't go over the outside edge of your card, right? You don't want it sticking way out here. So you need to kind of go right here. I'm just going to grab my snail adhesive and I'm going to run that. Let me see if there's, is there a front and back to this? Yeah, I think this is the back. The front has bumps up and the back has bumps down. All right, so I'm going to do this, and I'm going to bring my doily in here. I'm going to center this piece, and I've got it right at the top. I think this will be good. And then before I push it down, I'm going to push this in here. Now, there's probably a lot better ways to do this that you guys might think of because I know you're brilliant, but this is the way that's working for me. <laughs> this is what I'm doing. And that snail will let you kind of reposition this a couple times too. So yeah, I need to push this in just a little bit more. There we go. And you want to kind of get it so it's even. Okay, we did that good. Enough about doilies. You guys can figure it out, right? It's not brain surgery. <laughs> Don't spend too much time obsessing over it. It's going to be cute no matter what. Next thing we're going to do 
is we are going to build or put our bunny together. And the bunny is going to go about right here. Yep, that looks good. Let me get back up here so you guys can see me. And then we're going to take the banner. Hang on, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. <laughs> we're going to take this banner and I'm going to put this right under the bunny. So it looks like the bunny is on the banner. The banner is kind of holding the bunny in place because, like, how does your bunny just fly in midair? Our bunny is sitting on the banner. And then we're going to bring in the welcome, and we're going to put that right down here, centered and straight. Okay. And then we need these little bunny feet. I'm going to get out my take your pick tool to help me with these. Maybe. Oh gosh, I just stuck them to my fingernail. <laughs> oh. Always an adventure, Kelly. Always an adventure. I was thinking that I could position them. I should have. Oh, so don't take the backing off of your dimensional before you do the take your pick tool. So here's what I'm going to do with this one. Let's do it the really smart way. There we go. So see this? Now you can, oh, for Pete's sakes. Okay, that was a really good idea, but it's not working out. And I can admit failure. <laughs> Claudia, thanks, Karen. It is cute, isn't it? Okay, so there we go. I'll pull this up to the camera so you can see it good. <laughs> Look at his cute little hands. Aren't they just adorable? And then we're going to get our mini glue dot out and attach this bow. And the bow is going to go right here, kind of off to the side, just like this. One more thing we need to do, you guys is, um, did you see the sequins? There are sequins here, because I know I, here they are. We're gonna do some sequins. Thank you guys for the love, I appreciate it. I'm gonna use my take your pick tool, and you kind of push it on here and slide these sequins, and I'm just gonna add some of these iridescent sequins. Oops, I just flicked one. I think it went right up my sleeve. Let's try this again. And we've got another one I'm just going to put here. I always do odd numbers of embellishments like this. There we go. And maybe one more. Let's do right here. <gasps> How cute is that? Yeah. And then you could stamp this little bunny on your envelope. That would be super cute. So this is going to be for a boy because I used, you know, I didn't, I stayed away from the pink for the most part, but you could certainly, I was thinking about changing this banner to like um, blushing bride or powder pink, but then I thought, no, then it'll make it kind of a girl card. So I kept it neutral, but you could certainly change this banner to anything, right? So I hope you guys can see that good. I hope my phone is focusing like it should, but super cute card. Love this bunny builder punch with the Best Bunny stamp set. Super, super cute. I'm pretty sure these are a bundle. If you buy them together, you get a 10% discount. Okay, I'm gonna leave this card right here while I kind of put my stuff away. Oh, by the way, you guys, these are the basic adhesive backed sequins and they are in the annual catalog. Let me put this stuff away so I can bring out my next amazing project. I think you guys are going to love this. We're going to be playing with some of the new stuff in the celeb Celebration Coordination promotion. So I'm pretty sure you're going to be thrilled to death to see this. Take a drink. Take a break. Talk to your kids. Tell them they've got like 30 seconds and then they need to go 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 back to what they were doing. No, I'm just kidding. Like you have 30 seconds with mommy right now, and then Kelly's gonna be back. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, what should I make next? I think we're gonna bring the frog card in. This is so stinking cute. I can't even tell you. So let me unpack all my stuff. We have the hop around framelits that matches the frog so happy together stamp set. And I couldn't be more excited about all of these um, coordinating products. 
This is the More Than Words stamp set, and we also have a pat, a punch that is brand new called the Story Label Punch. Oh, I remembered it this time. I was doing a video last night, and I couldn't remember the name of it. Um, and all of these greetings in here go along with the four stamp sets that are celebration. So we've got jumping in, hopping by, leaping for joy is easy to do. Um, that goes, of course, with the So Happy Together. And then we have Talk About Sweets, and that goes with the Cupcake Set. Then we have the Painted Season Set. You could use any greeting for that. And what is the last set? It is, oh, the Lasting Lily, which has all its own greetings, but they fit in this punch, too, so that's cool. So that's our coordinating products. I'm bringing in Memento Ink and Versamark. Let me get my bunny card out of here now. We're ready to roll. Got my frog dude in two cases here. My embossing buddy, we are gonna do just a little bit of embossing. And then I'm also using this Tropical Escape six by six paper. Oh, Nanette asked me if I could turn a light off. What is glaring? Okay, hang on, I just got a message here. I gotta turn that off. Um, I think it was glaring on the stamp set maybe, and I've moved that, so. But if I turn a light off, I don't think that's a good plan because then things are gonna be really shadowy. I'll watch my screen and see how that looks. Okay, but thank you for letting me know that something was glaring at you. I try to keep those stamp sets and even the punches. The punches will glare at you too. Yeah, I just watch the screen. That gets real shadowy. This is the Tropical Escape designer series paper. And Natasha just said, I made it to a live live. Natasha, welcome. <laughs> this paper is just so, so pretty. And it's all rather tropical. Really, really cute paper. Now this goes with a matching stamp set. And did you know that that stamp set has a die, um, a set of framelits that will cut these flowers out? Yeah, I just found that out today. It's funny the things that you learn that you thought you knew everything about, but you really didn't. <laughs> so we can always learn new things, right? Okay, I am going to, oh, I've got some more things to get out here. We're using some blends and some white embossing powder. Now these framelits are stinking adorable. Um, yeah, um, thanks Gilmore, thank you for letting me know that there's no glare now yet. Yeah, Anytime I leave these in here, my lights will glare, but I need the light so you can see what I'm doing. We've got a little lily pad, some lily pad flowers and um, dyes for everything else in the So Happy Together. And that's why I always kind of tilt my stamp set down here so that it's not glaring. Maybe if I put it up here, it won't glare, but I don't know how close I am. Um, what are those little trays? Okay, Vicki. So <laughs> these little trays are old wood stamp cases. They had a lid on them and I just cut the lids off. You can't get them anymore. But I use them for our card buffets. This is what we put the stamps in, in the bins. And my and my stamp clubs. Now, where'd my card go? Who saw my card? Oh, here it is. Whew. Figure out what I'm doing here. Let me get rid of this bunny cheat sheet. And I'll bring out my frog cheat sheet because I wanna be able to tell you what my dimensions are. Okay, here we come. This is gonna be so adorable, you're gonna love it. And that, and this, and we've got everything I think we need here. Now let me dump some more things out over here. There we go. Hopefully I won't dump them on the floor, because that's embarrassing. I have a Blushing Bride card base. Let me move this off to the side a little bit. This is five and a half by eight and a half, and I'm just gonna fold that in half. Yeah, um, Vicki, they are really nice trays, for sure. And I, some of them are getting pretty busted up. These are pretty good, but some of them, like this one is cracked, it's gonna break open. So, kinda looking for something new. I don't know what we're gonna use after they're all exhausted. Okay, this is that Tropical Escape Designer Series paper, and this piece is four and a quarter by five and a half. Now that's different than normal for a card front because we're gonna cover the whole front of this card with no margin. So I'm gonna add some liquid glue here. And 
and I'm just gonna put this on the front and push it down good. And then I took some of the other paper here. This little piece is three and three quarters by five, and I'm going to add this to the front right away. Isn't that pretty? I just love these two designs together. And then we've got our inside layer. So for our inside layer, I decided to add, um, this was four by five and a quarter, and then I've got two pieces of the designer paper that are half inch by four. And I'm just going to add some glue to the back of these. We're gonna design our inside of our card first. And if you're new to me, you need to be decorating the insides of your cards because the party should not end when somebody opens your beautiful card. It should have more party inside of it. And then we've got this one. Okay, um, these are sticking out just a tiny bit. That will drive me crazy because I'm a little anal about things like that. And then um, I'll, I'll finish that in just a minute. Let's come back to our card. So I've got a scrap of crumb cake and a scrap of basic black here. And I'm going to take my embossing buddy and emboss or rub rub this all over. This, this um my zipper on this jacket keeps making all the racket. I'm really sorry. I didn't realize it would do that. And I took a couple of the greetings from the um, stamp set that I just showed you. Where did it go? More than words. So I'm using the thanks for and the jumping by out of the more than words stamp set. So I'm going to stamp these up in Versamark. And again, this is just a black scrap. Oh, I did that one upside down. That's okay, because we're going to cut these apart. Then I've got a piece of paper here so I can retrieve all of my embossing powder. Yes, Patty says, so right about the inside. Exactly, Patty. It needs to be pretty too, right? Or masculine or whatever but it needs to be decorated. Patty always decorates her insides too. Okay, then, let me get this back on here because that's a disaster and a half waiting to happen. <laughs> if you guys have ever spilled embossing powder, you know exactly what I am saying to you right now. Then we're gonna hit this with the heat tool and through the magic of TV, I've already done it twice, so. Now, all we're gonna do with this is cut these out in a block form. And what I mean by that is just kind of rectangular. Now, you could put these in your paper cutter if you don't feel comfortable enough to cut them like this, but I'm a professional and, <laughs> I'm just kidding, <laughs> I've screwed this up more times than I can count, but that looks pretty good, doesn't it? And then we've got the hopping by, and I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna come in just a little bit closer with it and cut underneath. By the way, this is basic black, if I didn't say that. Oh, this one looks all jacked up, so hang on, I'm gonna do it again. I don't, I got it crooked. Let's try this again. That one looks better. And I'm going to. So if you get it crooked a third time, then just cut the other one and make them both crooked, okay? Because then it'll look like it was on purpose. Okay, that looks okay. <laughs> yeah, there's always ways to fix things, you guys. Okay, now I'm going to set this aside. Let me get some embossing powder off of that. Then I'm going to take my stitched shapes circle. Who has the stitched shapes framelit? Like, if you are a stamper and you don't have these, I use these for, you guys watch me, I use them for almost every single card. We use the little tiny oval on the bunny card. Now I'm using it again. I use these all the time. Yeah, Cindy says, I thought you were a pro. Well, I try really hard. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to cut this out, and here's what it's going to look like. And then next... We're going to die cut, where that, the scrap, I'm gonna take the lily pad right here. And isn't that cute? It's just cute. We're gonna die cut a lily pad. 
And we're also going to take these little lily pad flowers and we're gonna die cut some pink polka dots just like the front of our card, same design. We're gonna die cut those. Hang on. I'm getting hungry. Is anybody else hungry? <laughs> I get to eat when we're done. And I'm gonna have one of my fabulous chocolate brownie muffins because ugh, they're delicious. Okay, here's what our little um, lily pad looks like. Isn't that just stinking cute? And then we've got our two flowers. Let me see if I can find the other one because, oh, here it is. It's getting nervous. Here's our cute little flowers. Now, here's something I'm gonna do to this little lily pad. So I'm gonna bring my big shot in so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Here it comes. Let me put all this stuff over to the side here. Um, I want this lily pad to look like it was also die cut with this, but I don't want this side cut off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in like this. So my lily pad that I want to be die cut to match this stitch shape framelit, I'm gonna put the framelit back on top. Oops, well here, let's do this. Glue it first, because you don't want it to move, right? So I know you probably think I'm crazy right now, but I'm I'm really quite sane at the moment. <laughs> Later, you never know what's gonna happen. And then you can feel this go right into place, okay? And we just want this side cut off. We don't want the other side cut off. So I'm going to simply run it into my machine to catch that edge. I felt it and I'm bringing it back. So I felt it catch this edge and I'm bringing it back and it cut it right off. <gasps> Look at that. I hope you can see that in the camera because now it's got the stitches in it. I just thought that was so nifty. That's how you can die cut something just a little bit. And it kind of looks like it's inlaid then too, which is fun. Okay, we've got some stamping to do. This is a Whisper White scrap and I'm going to take my little frog here and we're gonna stamp him just like that. And then I'm gonna bring this crazy little frog. I love him, he is so adorable. And we're gonna stamp him. And then we need our little dragonfly, also super cute. Stamp him. And we have framelits to match all of these. So we've got this frog right there and this frog right here and this dragonfly right there. Oh, I need to color these first. Hang on. Let me show you how I did that. I've got granny apple green light and dark. And I usually like to do the dark first because that's how um, I use my shading. So I'm going to shade under his mouth and down his side here. And then this little guy, I'm gonna give him some shading around his mouth also, and maybe up over his whole side of his face, around the belly spot, whatever you wanna call that. That looks good. Then I'm gonna come in with the lighter, and I'm going to color all of this in. Oh, you know what? I screwed this up already, so hang on. I got carried away coloring. I need to color that guy, not this one. This is different. Okay, let's try it again, Kelly. We were, we were on such a good roll, weren't we? <laughs> okay, this guy is gonna get colored in. Now this is the lighter of the two and you can definitely see that here, right? See how his mouth looks dark? Now you're just gonna keep coloring around that dark shade color that we did and look at how cool that looks. <gasps> I look like an artist. Love it. All right, the inside of his belly is just gonna be the lighter marker. And then I'm gonna use the other end for his legs and his little hiney right here. I like saying that word. And over here. And his little legs. 
I've really had a lot of fun with this frog. If you don't have the granny apple green colors of Stampin' Blends, you need them because they are the perfect color for the frog. Now for this one, whoops, hang on. For this one, I'm just gonna color in the polka dots and the belly. So if you don't like to do coloring and you look at these line art stamp sets as, oh my gosh, I'm never gonna color that. Like, I'm not gonna do it. You can um, certainly do it. You don't have to color these in. So that's kind of an alternative. Like I just colored him just a couple little things and I could have left him white. You can also, oh, let me show you this, you guys. You can also just emboss them on green paper. I even stamped this one on the designer paper that we used for our lily pad and that's kind of cute too. So you don't have to color in line art objects and I love that we have the framelits for these because um, we can, we don't have to fussy cut them. We were fussy cutting this before we got these framelits, so I'm excited to have these. Now remember, these are only around till the end of March, and I'm sure only while supplies last. So if you've gotten your celebration sets and you'd really like to get your hands on these little matching framelits, you're gonna wanna get those soon so that you don't miss out. And I'm just saying that because it happens. Okay. Now we're ready to die cut. I'm sorry about that. We're going to die cut this frog guy, and we're going to die cut this frog guy, and we're going to die cut the dragonfly. Hang on. Let me put these away. Here comes my frog guy. Here comes my other frog guy, and here comes my dragonfly. And I think we're ready to put our card together, so I'm super excited. So I'm bringing in mini dimensionals, and I'm going to add that. Oh, I can fit a big dimensional on my dragonfly. I was thinking it was just a little bit too small. Oh yeah, that's gonna be fine. And where did our card front go? Right here. We're gonna add that right to our card front. Just like that. <gasps> Isn't that stinking cute? It is cute. Oh, the black rings that I have on my markers, they're nothing but little um, hair rubber bands. You buy them in the hair section at your local Walmart or whatever. And I put two of them on to hold my colors together like this because I got tired of searching through all the colors to find the matching pair. So I put these rubber bands on my blends. Here's the other, here's the other one. Just like that. And that's how I store them in my container. So that's a good question. Okay, next. We're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of this little baby. I like how I just flicked those dimensionals. Steve was kind of complaining about dimensionals being all over the house the other day and I just snickered. Is he still watching? <laughs> He's gonna come in here and go, oh, so you're snickering, huh? Yeah, well, <laughs> um, here comes some dimensionals on the back of our frog. And I'm just going to add one here and one here. Yeah, they do. They get caught too. They get on the floor, then they get caught on your shoes. <gasps> Look at how cute that frog is. Now, I left him white because he really pops and goes along with this white striped paper. Okay, here comes our little lily pads flower thing, these little flower deals. And I am just going to... Um, Tuck those in here. There's one. Here's two. Maybe if I can get some glue out. Here's number two. There we go. And then I've got my little black things here. These are my little greeting pieces. I'm going to use mini dimensionals on those. Oh, by the way, you guys, I was looking at my YouTube stats today. I just went over 13,000 subscribers, which is super exciting for me because once I got to 10,000 subscribers, it just flew up to 13. So thank you guys so much for sharing my video because that's how I get more subscribers, which is wonderful. And at the same time, I hit over a million views of my videos. Oh, I just made a little boo-boo here. So um, don't put a dimensional down on this end because 
This end is going to touch on our greeting or our crumb cake layer. I did this when I made my sample too. And we don't want it to be triple high, if you know what I mean. You don't want it to be like that. And then I'm just going to put this little one right here. Let me get that off of there. And then here comes the inside layer, and that's where this guy is going. And I just thought he was so stinking cute. I love him in his little library glasses, looking like a rock star. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? So this says, thanks for hopping by. And it's really like a play on words for stopping by. And I think that next time, um, we just had my stepdaughter Stephanie and her son Porter here overnight. And I think the next time that um, somebody comes and stays overnight like that, I'm going to have this card from with the little treat, treat box that matches. That'll be really cute. Next, don't go any place. Because this is going to have a few little sequins. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to use these. These are the green iridescent ones. These are really pretty. Where'd my take your pick tool go? Do you guys see it here somewhere? Huh. I don't know what I did with it. Oh, here it is. Oh, here's one. I think I put the other one away. Oh, it's right beside me for Pete's sakes. Lucky it's not a snake. I could get hurt. <laughs> oh, thanks, you guys, so much. I just looked at the messages. Thank you so much for the congratulations. That is really exciting for me to um, have that many subscribers. It's crazy how YouTube works. And, um, boy, I've learned a lot about things <laughs> with all of this. Besides stamping, okay, I can't get those back in there, but those are those self-adhesive sequins again. What do you guys think of this card? I know, right? Love, love, love these matching framelits that go with the So Hoppy together. Um, the other thing, you guys have seen me use my um, Stamparatus as a template, so I just take um, the framelit and put it on like the designer paper and cut out and cut out and cut out. And then I use my, I, I put it back in the template in the Stamparatus and my stamp is over here and I stamp them, take it out, put the next one in, stamp it, take it out. That's a really good way to do. Stamp up a whole bunch of frogs. Just stamp up a whole bunch of frogs using your Stamparatus as a template and then sit down and create cards. I think that would be so much fun. So that's my second card. Oh, let me put these away before I... Um, lose one because I've been good at that lately. Where did my envelope go? Did you guys see the envelope? Here it is. I'll put these away right away. I always try to move on to the next thing quickly and not have to do all this, but lately I've not had good luck with that whole scenario. So I am putting things away so that I don't lose them. I've been on a roll lately losing stuff and it's very frustrating. I think that happens, you know, when your life gets a little bit too busy, then things kind of start getting crazy, right? That's been my experience. Okay. Um, we're going to put that away. We're going to put this away and this away. And let me get my mess cleaned up because I sure made a mess here. And I am not flicking these right onto the floor. So I just want you to know that I'm not taking advantage of my husband who does the vacuuming. Actually, I was in a really bad time crunch the other day. And I'm just going to keep rattling along as I unpack my next card. I was in a really, really big time crunch the other day. And um, Steve was helping me as much as he could because he knew that I was just kind of frantic. Oh, on Friday, getting ready for the card buffet. And he came in here and vacuumed while I was working. And oh, he knows that I love it when the vacuuming in my office because you get all the bits and pieces all over the floor. It's kind of a disastrous mess. You guys know, you're stampers. We're messy people, aren't we? Yes, who said that? Terry? Was it Terry that just said those are so cute, those framelits? Yeah, they really are. They're absolutely adorable. All right, here comes our next card. We are going to be using the Brights Designer Series paper, and I'll take this out and show it to you right away because this is really pretty. I've used some of this already. But this is all of our bright colors. So this is Flirty Flamingo and Poppy Parade and Daffodil Delight, Gorgeous Grape, La, uh, Melon Mambo, Bermuda Bay, Mango Melody, Coastal Cabana, Blueberry Buckle, which is really Blueberry Bushel, 
and granny apple green. And one side has polka dots. So there's polka dots and they're like a lighter color and then there's white polka dots. And then the other side has the stripes. So we have white stripes and then we have a darker color stripes for all of these. These six by six packs of paper come in so handy when you're just looking for a little something on your card. And you're gonna see what I'm talking about when I show you this next one here. So I'm using the Hello Cupcake and the brand new Call Me Cupcake Framelits. And I can't wait to play with this whole um, set a little bit more because I love this card so much, or this whole bundle. Okay, next we're gonna bring in our layers. So I've got um, Pool Party, and here's my little cheat sheet. I've got a scrap of Flirty Flamingo. This is the um, Coastal Cabana Designer Series paper, and this is three and a half by four. I've got a sliver of our silver foil. I hope that's not glaring in the camera. Your hubby, Kathy says her hubby loves to vacuum. They call him the vacuum king. He just killed their first Dyson. That's hilarious. <laughs> um, another scrap of Coastal Cabana. A Whisper White layer that's four by five and a quarter. And then I've got a scrap of Whisper White. And I'm going to dump out all my little pieces here. And then I'm going to get angry because what is missing? All of my hearts are missing. Are you kidding me right now? Well, I'll do what I can do. Okay. Um, I'll have hearts. Don't worry. Oh, maybe they got stuck in with my papers. I didn't see any hearts. I just put six hearts in my little envelope. Oh, well. It is what it is, right? Okay. First thing we're going to do. We're gonna fold this in half. This is eight and a half by five and a half, and it is pool party. We're gonna burnish that edge good, and then we're going to take this little piece. Now this piece is um, four by three and a half, and I wanna make sure, yep, this is the way it goes. So I'm gonna take a little bit of glue right here and put it down at the bottom. Now this piece is one by whatever. We're gonna trim it off. It's rich raspberry, and I ran it through the corrugated embossing folder. Now a little tip I have for you. When I tried to run through strips at one by four and a half or whatever these are, it didn't do well. So then I ran through a whole piece of like a quarter sheet of cardstock, and then I cut it in strips of one. That worked very well. So just take that tip for what it's worth. I always like those helpful little tips. I'm gonna look on the back here to see if I have this straight. And now I do. And then we're just gonna trim off this excess. This is just kind of a neat little element. Again, this is rich razzleberry, which is kind of an interesting color combination, but I love it. And we're gonna glue this down right on the very edge of our card. So I've centered it from top to bottom, and then I'm pushing it all the way over to the edge here. Then we're going to take, I'm still baffled by those missing, <laughs> it's really making me crazy, the missing hearts. I die cut painstakingly six hearts and put them in this bag, and they are gone. <laughs> like, I don't know where they disappeared to. Anywho, early espresso ink. And I got one of the stamps, again, I've used this on all three cards, I think, out of the More Than Words stamp set. This is our um, promotion for March. This one says, because adulting is hard. And this is really cute. So I had a card buffet this weekend, and I had some ladies there that said, what does that even mean? Well, let me tell you about it. My daughter um, was recently complaining about car insurance, and she had a right to complain. It's expensive, and she's, you know, 24 years old, and our insurance agent told us that she doesn't live there. She's not in college anymore. She needs to have her own insurance. So <clears throat> we told her she had to get her own insurance. So she's investigating all this stuff, right? And... Um, then she comes back at me and says, oh my gosh, that stuff is so horrible, blah, blah, blah. And she hates the whole process. And I said, yeah, I know. Adulting is hard. And that's where that 
that saying comes into play. Adulting is hard. Being an adult is not easy. And this is for somebody who's had a rough time at something. Maybe they got into a little fender bender and now they have to deal with the insurance company or their boyfriend stood them up or whatever. But it's a cute card to send because adulting is hard. So I just love that saying. Now I've got... Um, yeah, Becky, I could have used a little Ziploc for my um, things, but I do put them in a bag. So I had everything in this bag, and I don't know what what happened to them. But it's it doesn't matter. I'll just make some more. So here is our cupcake bottom, and we're going to use Bermuda Bay, and we're going to stamp that. And then I've got kind of a nifty little technique for you. Early Espresso is going to give us some beautiful chocolate frosting. And what you're going to do is you're going to stamp that and then right away while that ink is fairly wet, you're going to come in with an aqua painter and you're going to blend this. And it's going to make your chocolate frosting look delicious. Now, you don't want to stamp up a whole bunch of these and then come back and try to blend because your ink is going to dry. So you want to blend them right away when you stamp them. And this is what I get with my chocolate frosting. I love this little technique. It's called a bleeding technique. And it works really good. So now I've got my chocolate frosting. I'm going to bring in my framelits. Yeah, Elaine says when our 23-year-old daughter had turned 18, she said she did not want to grow up. I know it's not fun, is it? It's just not fun. <laughs> I mean, it's great being an adult. And it's better than the alternative, which is dead. So we shouldn't complain so much. But it is our nature, right? So we're going to cut these all out with our framelits. And then look at this. This is like the cherry on top of my cake is this framelit. It's a dome that would go over your um, cupcake that sits on a platter. Let me get this out here. Let's see if I can wreck my paper. This is the platter. And we're going to die cut this out of our silver foil paper. And then the flirty flamingo is where I needed those hearts. And those, you need two sets of those. So we're going to do, and these are really, really, really tiny. Okay, so they're super cute. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to put these all right here because I have this die cut already. I have my platter die cut. I have my cupcake wrapper die cut. I'm still searching for little tiny, I don't, I can't find them. <laughs> It's worth a shot, right? Just one more shot. And my dome. We're going to put some dimensionals. Did I put all those dimensionals away? I must have. Okay, hang tight. Let me find the dimensionals. I don't know what I did with them. I got another sheet here. Yeah, this is how I lose stuff, you guys. It's not a mystery when you watch me in action. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put some dimensionals on this white dome. Oh, um, you could use Wink of Stella on the frosting. That's a really good idea, Chris. That would certainly work. Yeah, thank you, Vicki. I love that bleeding technique too. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put my platter, or my um, platter cover, my dome thing, right here. And then I brought in my glue and I just ran a really thin line of glue right on the edge of my dome and I brought my platter in. I didn't put any glue on any place else on this platter. I just did this. And you're going to center that from side to side. Like I didn't put glue under this. Who cares? It's not going any place. Then we're going to put some dimensionals on here. Let me move this before I have it on the floor. Um, I'm going to put and you want to be careful and put your dimensionals kind of over at the side that isn't going to be on the dome because it's going to touch it a little bit. I'm going to get this ready. We're going to put our little cupcake on here. The wrapper goes first. And you're just going to set that right down here. You want to kind of center your cupcake. So this is going to be way off over here, but you want to center your cupcake on your dome. And then this is coming and I'm just going to add that right here oops I want to need I need that to be centered too there we go 
And then this piece is going to go right here. And then what I did is I added five tiny little dots of glue to my cupcake frosting and one right here at the bottom of my card and added the tiny little hearts. And I'll tell you something. Using this putty end on your take your pick tool to pick up those hearts and put them on the dots of glue really worked good. And that's what I wanted to show you, but I am not gonna die cut any more hearts right now because that makes me mad. <laughs> I'm pouting now because I cannot find my hearts. But anyways, let's keep going. We need to finish the inside of our card. This layer is four by five and a quarter. And I've got, today calls for something sweet with extra sprinkles on top. And that is coming to us, whoops, again from the More Than Words stamp set. So this has been a really valuable stamp set that I have used for several cards already. And I'm going to stamp that right here. And then I think I want, oh, let's see if I get Coastal Cabana out here. I don't. And you know what? It's probably packed up in my card buffet stuff. Hang tight. I'm looking. Oh, I got one right here. I have doubles of just about all my ink pads because I do big events. And, you know, I hated that. I could only use Coastal Cabana on one. Um card when I do an event because it's one of my favorite colors. So I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to add some little sprinkles because it says today calls for something sweet with extra sprinkles on top. So I brought in that Coastal Cabana for the inside. And this is going to go on the inside of our card. And then, whoops, I got that really, really, really crooked. Let's see if Kelly can get the inside of the card straight. How about that? There we go. And I'll bring the one in with the little hearts. Isn't that little heart right on there super cute? Then the last thing I want to do is add some more of these um, sequins because why not? I think I'm going to go with the white ones again. And I think those are going to be just really cute. There's a white one. i got to get some of that putty off of there. Here comes another one. Yeah, I do too. You could cut this out of um, vellum. Our vellum is really cool, our vellum cardstock, and I think that would look really, really pretty and set it over your cupcake. Wouldn't that be super, super cute? So this is the, the next time I need to send my daughter a card because she's been adulting or you know, I'm very proud of her for the things that she's done. Like she went and got new tires on her car. She took it and got an oil change. And that may not seem to like a lot to some of you, but um, her dad's always done that stuff for her. So she went and did all this stuff on her own. And it's like, yep, that's what it's all about. That's adulting. And it is hard and very expensive. She found that out too. She's like, gosh, I just got some money in the bank and now I have to spend almost a thousand dollars on tires. And I'm like, yep, because adulting is hard. And that's where that comes from. All right, you guys, I am going to close these up. And uh, let's see. I know sometimes my Stephanie, my stepdaughter Stephanie, too, could, could use a card like this when she's having some problems with the kids or whatever. Um, Anna, if she has a house sale fall through, one time... She was selling a house and the lady promised to get all her stuff out and she didn't. And so that created a whole nightmare for Anna where she had to hire friends and family to come in and get all this lady's stuff out of this house. And, you know, this would be a cute card for her. So sorry that happened to you, but <laughs> adulting is hard and she knows it. She's been an adult for a long time. Um, I'm looking for, oh, here's my, nope, that's my bunny card. I've got that one. And where did my frog card go, you guys? Um, here it is. There's my little, oh, that's not the one that I just made, though. Because it doesn't have any sequins on it. But it'll have to do. I'll find the other one. It's here someplace. That is my lineup for tonight. Um, that Best Bunny Bundle is super cute. And something you can have in your library for a super long time. And then we've got the new sets of framelits that match our celebration, part of the celebration coordination promotion that is going on right now. 
I always appreciate your orders, you guys. This is my full-time job, and I work really hard to bring you free videos and a free show every Sunday night and lots of free YouTube um, and lots of blog hops. And I just want you to know how much I appreciate your orders. They touch me from the tips of my toes to the top of the longest hair on my head. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Watch for that online class to come out on the 15th. Um, Facebook Live next week, 7 p.m. Central Time, right here on this channel. And I will um, be um, Facebook Live, not live. I am pre-recorded that night, which it is what it is. I don't want to leave you guys without something to do on a Sunday night because you've told me how much you enjoy your Sunday nights now. So I appreciate that. Um, did I miss anybody's question? Now is the time to ask me if you have any other questions that I might have missed because, like I said, it is hard <laughs> to watch my screen and try to stamp and um, continue to remember what I'm talking about. And, you know, it's a tricky thing. This Facebook Live, if you've never done one, it's pretty tricky. But I love it. It's a lot of fun. I enjoy your interaction with me. And it's almost like we're kind of together, isn't it? <laughs> like, that's the way I think of it. So, watch Kelly put all of her framelits away so that I do not lose them. Yeah. Beautiful stamp set. Another beautiful stamp set here. And I still didn't find that other frog card. I'm not quite sure what happened to that. But I'll find it. Anywho. Um... Thank you guys so much. Thank you for wishing me a wonderful um, trip. I just feel so very blessed that I can go on a trip like this again. Um, if it wasn't for my cousin and allowing us to stay for free, uh, it wouldn't be happening. And I'm going to visit my friend Denise when I go down there again. So I'm super excited about that. Um, if any of you are friends with Denise, she's actually having an online Facebook party right now. It's going to be over on the 13th. And, <clears throat> excuse me, what that is, it's just a party on Facebook. It's like having a catalog party, but we put it on Facebook. So you, she has a host code, and you just go to my online store and place an order and use her host code, and she gets all the credit for it. So it's like having a home party. She usually has a party for me um, every year during celebration, and this is their first winter down in Arizona, so she wasn't able to have a party for me. Um, so this was a way to kind of make up that and I'm providing a ton of ideas on there and some content and just a lot of fun. So if anybody's friends with Denise um, and you need to place an order, you want to get any of these supplies, go on to her Facebook page and look at her events. You'll find her celebration party there and place an order with her so she'll get the hostess credit. That would be super sweet. Okay. Um, Debbie says, I've been to your classes. This is being together with you. Oh, thank you, Debbie. Yeah, I'm really quirky and I mess up a lot at my classes and we laugh a lot and we just have fun. Thanks, Jenny Miller. Thank you, Kay. Thanks, Nancy Stormer. I appreciate it. I'm going to sign off now so I can get the photographing done of these cards and get this ready for my blog post on Tuesday. Oh, hey, here's a new one. Well, it's not new. Tomorrow on my blog, I have a blog hop, the Color Fusers blog hop. I can't remember the colors we're supposed to use, but um, as soon as I get done with this tonight, I'm going to be figuring out my project with, like, f I think there's five colors that I have to use on a card. And um, it's this is my biggest challenge of the month because we, we can't pick and choose which colors we want to do. We have to use all the colors. And um, we can't use any other colors unless it's in a designer series paper that has like one of the colors in it. But this is always my biggest challenge. Like this will, sometimes it'll really stump me. But um, I can say that each time I've done this color fusers challenge, I've had great results. Like I've been very proud of myself for what I've come up with. So if you can see me patting myself on my back. Yeah. Um, anyways, I have a blog hop tomorrow morning and I need to do that tonight. Um, I think that goes live at eight or nine o'clock central time. So check out my blog. I'm right here at www.astampabub.com. Again, you're going to find my online ordering button in the right hand column. Everybody that places an order with me gets a special gift. Your first, with your first order, you get a 30 card tutorial for the share what you love suite of products. 
and then everybody gets my February gift, which is a tutorial with 15 different cards. It has all the instructions, dimensions, and pictures um, for each card, so it's 15 pages. And then if you order the Painted with Love bundle from me, you will get another tutorial. And I've already forgot, I'm looking for that stamp set, but it's not laying right here. I already forgot what that tutorial, how many there's in there. I think there's 15 or so tutorials with the Painted um, Seasons bundle. If you order that from me, or if you're on my team, and you've ordered it, let me know, and I will send that to you. But it's also a gift for um, your continued support and all that good stuff. Okay, Jody says, looking forward to seeing what you come up with for the blog hop. I am too, Jody. <laughs> because, oh my Lord. Yeah, I'm a last minute person. Like, I work better under pressure. And um, I tend to leave myself in a lurch sometimes. But I always manage to get it done, so... I've been blessed with being able to do that, I guess, is a good way to put it. All right, you guys, I am going to let you go for tonight so I can get my Color Fusers blog hop design. Have yourselves a fabulous week, and I hope you will tune back in at 7 p.m. next Sunday, March 10th, on this channel, 7 p.m. Central Time. Good night. Bye-bye.